Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to have a first look at the new quick machine recovery feature on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It is something that will help me a lot, so please do it. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and related tech news. So quick machine recovery is a new feature that aims to reduce downtime due to a boot failure by automatically detecting and fixing boot issues using the Windows Recovery Environment and Windows Update. When a critical failure happens, the system will automatically connect to the internet and upload the diagnostic information to Microsoft. And then the device will receive a targeted fix. If a widespread outage is detected, an internal response team from Microsoft is activated to develop, validate, and prepare a target remediation. In this initial release, Microsoft will deliver the fixes through Windows Update, respecting the update policies configured on the device. Cloud remediation is enabled by default on Windows 11 Home, while the auto remediation is turned off by default. For Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise, both cloud remediation and auto remediation are disabled by default. However, here is the caveat. Quick machine recovery is a best effort feature, so it might not always be able to find a solution for every issue. So here's how the process works. When the computer fails to boot multiple times, the system automatically detects the issue and starts the recovery process. Then the device will boot into the recovery environment to start the quick machine recovery process. After the connection is made to the network, the device will scan Windows Update for fixes. If no solution is found, the system retries the process based on the configure retries scanning intervals and timeouts. If a solution is not found, the system retries the process based on the configure retry scanning intervals and timeouts. If a solution is found, the system downloads and applies it. After the fix is applied, the computer will reboot, and if the solution is successful, the computer will boot into Windows. If the solution fails, the computer will reboot into the recovery environment one more time, and it will repeat the process from step two. Now, let's test the recovery feature on Windows 11 Pro. First, we need to create a settings.xml file. And here's an example that includes the network settings. So the computer can actually connect to the wireless network in this case, and how the computer gets and applies the fixes. So here at the top, we can see the network configuration. So this allows a computer to connect to the internet. And this is how we enable the cloud remediation by setting the state to one and the auto remediation. Also, we set it to one to enable it. And this particular configuration right here has two more options, the total wait time and the wait interval. And here we set it to 120 and two. So basically the total wait time is set to two hours and the wait interval is set to two minutes. So this means that the system will wait two hours before rebooting and it will check for remediations every two minutes. Of course, these values are the ones that I configure, but you can choose the values that make sense to you. Once we have created this file, we have to save it in the computer and then we need to apply it to the system. And to do that, first I'm going to show you that I have created a folder on the root of C and I already saved that settings.xml file. And then we need to use a few commands to configure the quick machine recovery feature on the computer. First, we're going to open the Windows terminal to open command prompt. And then I'm just going to run this command to show you the default configuration available on the operating system. As you can see, there is no network credentials and everything is disabled. So now we're going to clear this and then we're going to run this command. Of course, you have to update this part with the location and the name of the XML file. So once we have the command, we just press enter and that will apply to the computer and we can confirm the configuration using this command. And as you can see, we have the new configuration applied and enabled. Now, if at any time you want to remove the configuration, you can use this command. Now, the quick machine recovery feature includes a test command and we can use it by running this command. And finally, we can use this command to set the computer to start in the Windows recovery environment in the next reboot. And then we can restart the computer to get a first look at how the quick machine recovery process works. Now, it is important to know that when the feature is disabled or not configured, the computer will require manual intervention to continue with the recovery process. This means that in this case, that's when you will see the quick machine recovery option on the Windows recovery environment. Okay, let's restart the computer to see the process.
And that's it. That's how the quick machine recovery works on Windows 11. So this is a great feature and Microsoft actually created it in response to those times when there is a widespread boot issue on Windows 11, which we have seen many times. The most recent happened in 2024 when a faulty update from CrowdStrike security software caused a widespread problem, leading to blue screen of death errors on Windows computers. The outage actually caused significant disruption in daily life and businesses around the planet. The root of the cause traced to an error in an update configuration file leading to an out of bounds memory read. So according to Microsoft, this is one step to make Windows more resilient. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. Remember to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.